Welcome back to Biafra News Support, Biafra, Ada, Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from, I bring you another news, another update. Enogo State has been declared the epic center of state at home by Biafran Prime Minister Simon Epa. Since uh, Enogo State Governor thinks that he can stop state at home by all means, without them solving the cause of uh, solving the cause of state at home, which is a Hamadike's unconditional release. Before we continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're just coming across my channel for the first time, kindly click the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, it's enable you get notification once I upload a new video. So, Governor of Enugu State, Imba thinks that he can stop seat at home by force. Without them securing their own conditional release of Ohamadi King, our people are not being forced to sit at home. Sit at home is a civil disobedience that our people choose to do in solidarity to our leader, Mazen Nam the Khan. Nobody is being forced. Nam Ba decided to price for his Sudanese masters. He is paying for it. He is receiving water water. Enugu State is now the epic center of sit at home. Okay? Now, Enugu Governor Mba do not speak for our people in Enugu State. He was not voted doesn't speak for Enugu people. He can only speak for himself and his family, not for Enugu people. It's for Enugu people. It's up to them to decide if they want to sit at home or not. And they look at who is trying to stop sit at home by all means. Look at this headline. Breaking Mbaze witness who described himself as DSS deputy director, uh, deputy director strategy and uh, tendered his uh, alleged NYC, NYSC, a discharge certificate forgery clearance of umba in court lied to the tribunal probably a fraud dss has clarified that the deputy director does not exist in the service what have they <laughs> what they have uh assistant director and director the desperation will not have will not save uh, okay desperation okay they said they have only assistant director and the director desperation will not save umba from disqualification okay and this is the so this is the person trying to stop sit at home by all means no this particular person now is the person trying to stop sit at home in enugu state are you doing this to please your full name masters or you're doing it for yourself i don't understand because the way they are chasing you bomber to bomber with this uh, certificate forgery hmm you're not going to last in that situation unless they, they, there is a particular job as they give the hope of them, as they gave hope of them, and there is a particular mission they gave you, which you will not succeed in accomplishing it. Instead, you guy me you succeed you know, if it's to terrorize Biafra land and make Biafra land or Enugu state uncomfortable, like hope of them did in Imo state. It can never work. Okay, so back to our seat at home. Mba has been doing whatever he can or with everything within his power to see if he can stop seat at home. He keeps failing and he will continue failing. Our Prime Minister made this known in a short video that I will allow you to watch at the end of this particular one so that you will hear him pass the message across by himself. Since Enugu State Governor did not ask a question, or say started fighting sit at home started fighting Simon Ewa, started fighting IPOB started doing whatever he can to stop sit at home without them solving the problem or the cause of sit at home which is Ahmadi case unconditional release he keeps doing whatever he can parading and then moving around with security let him come and walk alone since he wants to stop sit at home he and Aisha na kwomo no mono one hope was the man akar white you want to stop sit at home in Enugu state you don't speak for Enugu people you don't you speak for yourself and your family because it's only you and your family that is benefiting from zoo politics not in the Enugu. and the Enugu never came to you knocking at your gate begging you for food you can't speak for them look at your your case is still in court and you are trying to stop you are you trying to stop sit at home to please your full animal master so that they will stop uh, dragging you in court even the person you presented the witness you presented is also a fraud so what do you think you have to offer to Ndenugu? See, from your certificate to your witness, all fraud, all lies. And you want to stop sit at home? Ijure Sabi? No, you didn't ask. Now Enugu State is the apex center of sit at home. Hmm? You even call to come and match. You, who are the people you're calling to match? Is it the people you people don't have their interest at heart? That you are calling to come and match against it at all. What is wrong with these people? What makes them think that once they get to office, they own the place and they can control the people? 
people allow you you think the people you think the way people are supporting Biafra to Biafra to come is the way they will you know follow you each and I, you think you know these people really think our people are blind or they don't see or they don't know what they want or what they don't want so you think because you are the governor nobody voted for you you think because you are the governor people will start bowing at your feet or running after you you don't speak for these people and they have no they have no this thing to listen to you or to do whatever you want them to do because you have nothing to offer them your certificate a uh, uh, forgery case is still in court and you're dragging to stop sit at home who told you that you can stop sit at home no who advised you to fight against it at home did you ever ask did you even ask those that tried to stop sit at home did you try to know the extent they went to and they couldn't stop sit at home this is the sentence Soluda was doing when he when, uh, did when he entered office he started jumping around like one one za. started jumping up and down stop sit at home sit at home must do this sit at home must do that you don't force people to come out they choose to sit at home in solidarity with our leader Mazen Nam the Khan. This is the only man that had their interest at heart. The only man that saw the, 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 the humiliation, the, ter the terrorism, and the, 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 the killing and the rapings going on. Took it upon himself when Eastern governors, you were fully fools in Nigerian politics, couldn't do anything. That alone is, is, is enough for our people to say, even if it's two months, even if it's one month, we sit at home. After all, the, govern, the government forced the Nigerians to sit at home for months without providing anything for them. All the palliatives were all hidden. They forced the people to sit at home. They hid the palliatives so that they will use it during the election. They will use it to lure the people during the election. But answers, the during answers, they busted everywhere. All the warehouses, they passed the palliatives. So sit at home just for a day, only one week sit at, only one day sit at home. One, no, once in a week, you are ranting up and down, crying how you people are losing more than 10 billion. More than 10 billion, where are the roads? The roads you people are using the money to, to repair or to build, where is it? Where, what are you people doing with the money? All the money you people said you're losing every Monday sit at home. What have you people been doing with the ones you people have been getting all this while before sit at home started? See, that one started two years ago. So all these years, what have you people been doing with all the monies that is being generated? Where, 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 where are the monies going? Or where, where are those money? What are you people doing with it? No good road, no good market, nothing, nothing in Southeast. And you're crying that you people lose more than 10 billion every Monday seat at home. This is just the beginning. You people will lose more. Until a case is released, there is nothing you people can do about it at home. That is just it. I don't know who is advising you. You are chasing your certificate forgery case in court. And you're doing everything to stop sit at home to please your Fulani masters. They are forced you on any good people. Let's see how it goes. And there is no way that it will go. It will, that it will favor you. It won't talk a shit your favor again. Because you don't speak for any good people. And they are not ready to listen to you because you have nothing to offer them. You are not only come. Yeah, I don't even know how you people think you can just talk to Enugu people or talk to people in the state you are governing and they will just listen to you. Do you people think that people no longer reason? People reason. Why is this man doing aldering us around? Is he going to solve the problem? No. He's just there to pack more money for himself and his family, leaving the people in Niger poverty. Some of you will be ranting, oh, sit at home is costing our people money. Oh, our people are losing over sit at home. Our people are losing nothing. Just know that and no peace. So that is it, my people. I will stop here. Biafran Prime Minister Simon Eba has declared Enugu State the epic center of sit at home. Here is the video. Don't forget to share as you watch. Fellow Biafrans, this is the 23rd day of July 2023. And the 24th, which is tomorrow, is going to be our Monday. From tomorrow, Enugu state of Biafra land will become the capital and the epicenter of our civil disobedience sit at home. From tomorrow. And those who are announcing about Simon Ekwa escaping whatever, disregard them. We have defeated them. This time around, they will know that this is not 1967. We have come to finish 
what our forefathers started. I have come to finish what Ojuku started. I have come to do it. And all of you will be dragged to freedom this year. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Tomorrow, we want Enugu State to be under complete lockdown. Disregard what illegitimate and wife snatcher Peter Mba is doing. He is misleading you. He never loved you. Biafra love you. Biafra government love you. And we are here to protect your future and give you freedom that you deserve. May God bless you. Good afternoon, fellow Biafrans. This is the 23rd day of July 2023. And the 24th, which is tomorrow, is going to be our Monday. From tomorrow, Enugu state of Biafra land will become the capital and the epicenter of our civil disobedience sit at home from tomorrow. And those who are announcing about someone escaping, whatever, disregard them. We have defeated them. This time around, they will know that this is not 1967. We have come to finish what our forefathers started. I have come to finish what Ojuku started. I have come to do it. And all of you will be dragged to freedom this year. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Tomorrow, we want Enugu State to be under complete lockdown. Disregard what illegitimate and wife snatcher Peter Mba is doing. He is misleading you. He never loved you. Biafra love you. Biafra government love you. And we are here to protect your future and give you freedom that you deserve. May God bless you.